remove this cover, I'm going to use an 8 millimeter socket. Loosen that bolt up and slide the cover out. And loosen up this worm clamp. You can use a 8 millimeter socket or a straight blade screwdriver. And the same with this one right here. Use a trim tool and just separate this retainer right there with that bracket. Now slide the snorkel off. Right there. And pull it out. Just to gain more access, I'm going to pull this air box off. Disconnect the mass airflow sensor. Grab the air box. Pull it straight up. Then you can slide it out. There's two tabs and this holds it in. Now when we go to take the reservoir off, you don't necessarily need to drain the entire coolant system if you wanted to drain it a little bit so that the coolant just drained down to that position you could or if you just take this hose off just be aware that a lot of coolant's going to drain out there and just again do this while the vehicle is cool don't do this while the vehicle's hot i'm going to take the bottom radiator hose off i need to drain the coolant there's no coolant drain on this radiator so i'm going to use a hose clamp pliers that have the cable style. Remove that hose clamp. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath. Squeeze that. Right, just let that drain out. Now you can use some hose clamp pliers. Move this hose clamp just down the hose a little bit. Then just twist the hose back and forth. If you have to, you can use a right angle pick. Just get underneath and then just work it off. go and same with this top hose just move, move the clamp and twist the hose off and remove this bolt use a 10 millimeter socket and there's a nut right here Use the same 10 millimeter socket. This one's pretty rusty. I'm gonna spray some rust penetrant on there. And just slide this up. It's clipped in in the back right there. And then you can disconnect this connector right here. Push down on the connector. And then slide it off. Now we want to plug this connector in, just like that, and line the clips up in the back over near the side. That looks good. Then take the nut, install that back here, and then the bolt goes in right here, and tighten them down. Install the lower hose. And use the hose clamp tool. That's good. And do the same for the top hose. All right, now reattach the lower radiator hose. It should be all the way on there. And release on the clamp. Just make sure it's tight. Looks good. And slide the air box back in position. What you want to do is slide this piece it's going to go right here, it's going to slide there, and then push the two push pins straight down. Push down, it's good to go. Reconnect the mass airflow sensor, and put the snorkel back on. Line this up with the throttle body and the air box. And tighten up the worm clamps. 
and line this bracket back up. Put the cover on, slide it in the back, get the bolt started, snug it down. Now if you just replace the reservoir and you didn't lose that much coolant, you can top off the reservoir. You're still going to want to run the vehicle for about 10 minutes monitoring the coolant level and adjust accordingly. And then after it cools down, adjust it again.